Hello, yeah, it's um, Nick Dutch here yet again. Um, I've just received a um, YouTube email, which is actually really rather interesting. So what I'm doing is I'm replying to it now, and uh, I'll tell you what the what the email says, and I'll tell you what my reply is very briefly. And um, you know, it's, take it from that point, as I always carry on saying ad nauseum. Okay. The e the email says, I hear people summoning all kinds of rubbish. Why not Jesus? Have you ever tried to summon Jesus, or do you know anyone who has done it? Very interesting question, and a very important question as well, despite the fact that not everyone will think so. This is what I've written so far. I've written, the Christian evangelical types who successfully do the Toronto blessing, the one whereby they fall down in the church, are essentially summoning one of the energies of God as they see it, namely the Holy Ghost or Holy Spirit. And successfully, I might add, as I have experienced this phenomenon. Now, I say that because I actually went to uh, um, a charismatic evangelical church. Well, I lied. I told them I was a Christian, and I experienced the Toronto blessing. I, I properly did experience it as well, and it felt like some kind of electric divine energy entering into me. Um, and it seemed to be flowing about the place in the form of like a plasma electric type feeling, and there was there was even people who didn't believe in the Holy Spirit in that place who were experiencing, you know, a feeling of shaking going through them and this vibrant energy, and there were people like passing out and all sorts in the church, all right? because there was something there. It's, so it seems, you know, it was doing real stuff. Um, anyway, my reply went on. It seems to have some kind of plasmic validity. There are essentially very good occults. So th these people are ver essentially very good occultists as prayer and meditation are the keystone of occultism anyway, which is what these fanatical Christians who pray solidly for three hours every single day are essentially doing. Uh, but they are unfortunate enough not to realize that. So these people are doing what I'm doing, but they've got all their religious dogma and doctrine, which is holding them back from realizing that they are no different to me, or that I'm no different to them, apart from the fact I don't call myself a Christian. Christians who pray a lot, sing and listen to worship songs, read the Bible a lot, and watch nothing but Christian videos are essentially summoning Jesus all the time. When they formulize it in prayer, they may have the very real experience of Jesus as, uh, as the way that they visualize him, which would probably be, you know, the typical pale-faced, long-haired hippie looking a bit like Richard at Dick Coffin 666. Some other strange phenomena would undoubtedly accompany the experience, just like the um, Toronto Blessing Spirit Energy. The fact that Jesus is the most followed pagan deity these days, because Jesus is an idol, Jesus is an image, all right, therefore it's a, it is a form of pagan deity, will naturally make it more likely, so occult theory goes, that his energy will be stronger than others but it's still theory. I want to make that perfectly clear, okay? A powerful egregor to use. Of course, the word egregor means group spirit, for those of you who don't know. So Christian witchcraft, which is the Christianization of the Goetia, or other, other forms of um, demon summoning, black magic, and the rest of it, is actually religiously and occultly intelligent thing to follow. As an occultist, there is nothing to, to say that I can't work with the Christ energy as much as the Archangel of, of the planet Saturn. However, when I do my stuff, I tend to leave out Christ imagery and keep it more to transcendental deity concepts as I personally am not a Christian. Um, so, you know, that's, that's essentially what I've said. I'm going to click the send button now. You know, warts and all, typographical and spelling errors and everything. And I'll leave that for you to basically mull over. Now, what I want to ask you is, obviously, you know, you're my subscriber base, you're my viewer base, you know, you know, you're, you're essentially a part of my online community. I would like to ask you if you think it's a good idea for me to actually set up a spiritual Christian channel. Not because I want to promote Christianity, but I w wouldn't mind, I seriously wouldn't mind digging into Christianity and finding the... Um, 
the, you know, the varieties of spiritual wisdom that there is in Christianity and giving that to people without any of the um, ideological and dogmatic crap that goes with it, as well as pointing out that there are exercises which Christians do which are basically magical, which are essentially occult. But the, pro the problem which I see, the, the way that I see it, is that there is a religion thrown in, and it's the religion which stops it from being as intelligent as it could be otherwise. So obviously, you know, subscribe, comment, rate, and all the rest of it, so that this video can be seen by more people. Um, and then I will, you know, if it pleases the course, if you want to send me an email saying, "Yeah, Nick, go for it," then you know, I'll, I'll go for it. I'll set up a Christian channel and see if we can bust some heads in a spiritual sense, so to speak. All right. Good fortune. What, whichever. God bless, and speak to you soon. Bye for now.